a rare uh, television interview uh, uh, yesterday i spoke to ajoy misra of uh, tata global beverages yes uh, he is confident that uh, the global tea demand and global tea prices have stabilized however he is of the view that it's really the non black tea business which is growing for them as of now tata global beverages feels that uh, global uh, tea demand will not come back in a hurry but the fact that they have got lot of joint ventures one with pepsi the other one with starbucks that really could be the niche catchment area for the company going forward since our acquisition in 2000 <clears throat> the trend has been that black tea consumption is either stagnant or declining in some key markets and uh, <clears throat> we were over indexed or traditionally been uh, a black tea uh, company and tetley has been a black tea brand but thereafter what we've started doing is we've started uh, opening up our play in non black because those segments such as green tea fruit and herbals specialty teas those segments are growing Uh, while black tea for instance in the uk is on a slight decline category so we are changing our portfolio mix of teas and quickly moving into teas uh, which are uh, more premium and cat uh, parts of the tea category that are showing growth so that has been the strategy not only in the uk but also in canada us australia uh, and that is how we are transforming the tetley brand but do you think uh, the j curve for tata global beverages or tata tea in this case will come when the non black uh, sales are higher and they pick up because that's where you're making money uh, that's where the premiumization also seems to be happening outside of india in in mature markets uh, in india still black tea is uh, the single largest uh, play we are market leaders uh, and uh, good growths Uh, I looked at the Q3 numbers, the numbers which are in public domain, and you've gone on record and you've said uh, the demonetization impact is behind us. So, can I safely assume that from from your company standpoint, the local demonetization impact, at least for India business, that's history? Yes, yes. Barring a small blip in uh, November, uh, we even ended the quarter uh, quite strong. Uh, so, I think we've 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 come out of it pretty well. uh and that is absolutely behind us uh so yes but aren't you spreading yourself too thin because you've now moved into bangladesh middle east these are big markets but currently they are small markets uh are they worth the worth the worth your while worth your money i would say yes middle east is a large tea market it's a very large tea market dominated by uh, i would say largely one single uh, player uh and these are black tea markets uh black tea something we understand well uh and uh, we have entered historically our tata tea and kalandevan brands had already reached there uh but we are now in a more organized manner uh, taking our tata tea portfolio to the middle east as well as tetley so because the marketplace there is the the, the local and the expat market Uh, as well as a lot of uh, uh, the market that is uh, south asian dominated uh, so we are there now with both the brands and we are bringing all our new innovations in tetley that we have uh, experienced uh, success in in uk and canada and we are we are bringing some of those innovations so our entry into the middle east is innovation led uh, and uh, and we are beginning to see us making inroads there Only 60% of the turnover is global in nature. 40% is Indian. Will that ratio change? Because if you're moving into Bangladesh, Russia, Middle East, uh, your focus would be global. It remains global. It remains global, but that does not mean that uh, the vast potential that India has or uh, neighboring countries have uh, will not uh, play an equally important uh, role for us. But, but in terms of realizations, are realizations better in the global business? Are they better in the local business? It keeps changing over periods. There are periods when uh, some parts of the businesses are more profitable than the others. But overall, let me say that 
we have a very strong play and a growth record in India and I think that uh, that has been borne out by the fact that ever since Tata Tea entered into branded tea uh, to start with as a starting player today to reach uh, market leadership position has been uh, has been a very very strong play I think we decided to enter uh, branded coffee uh, because we have the whole distribution system the ambient distribution system so we've entered with Tata Tea Gold and we are seeing good initial success on that in the fast growing branded coffee market in India if I look at the wall uh, you know on the right side you got a lot of premium brands if I look at some of your premium brands there you've got very strong positioning so branded business is a big business accounts for more than 85 percent of the turn total turnovers what I've been told yet if I look at the return ratios the return ratios are not very impressive all these acquisitions uh, uh, need to need to fire then we have also invested in uh, growth businesses for the future our investment in two joint ventures in India are very significant investments uh, which will pay back uh, as traction happens uh, in both our uh, Narishko uh, JV as well as uh, the one with Starbucks so there are businesses that we are investing in there are markets that we are investing in, for example, the Middle East. Uh, these are heavy investment uh, initiatives. Once all the initiatives uh, begin to uh, fire, uh, that's when the true uh, potential will be... Uh, when will they fire? Soon. <laughs> Define soon for me. You have to give me no, some time. Right? We don't make forward-looking uh, statements or commitments, but uh, you'll have to watch you've been tracking our quarter on quarter uh, performances the one thing that I didn't mention is all our innovations and suddenly our innovation pipeline and rollouts uh, have accelerated take India for instance in the last one year we've had more innovation and new product launches than in the past few years well, that's Tata Global Beverages highlighting what they see the future in and talking about the various segments, uh, tea that tie up with um, uh, the franchise that is Starbucks and what really uh, do they feel about uh, the global commodity tea cycle right now. And they're saying that black tea consumption is either stagnant or det decreasing. They've opened up deadly play towards the non-black tea segment and the fact that they are changing their portfolio mix of teas uh, towards premium as well as the growing tea segment. So that's the word Tata Global Beverages. Uh, you don't often see them. It's a very rare interview that Nikunj has managed to catch with the management of Tata Global Beverages. The stock just mildly in the green as we speak. Started off okay but now has settled down around that 152 odd mark. And uh, you know, the last time we did interact with them off the record, Nikunj, they were talking about as to how water is the key segment that they focus, uh, they want to focus in on. But it seems like that plan is somewhat changed and they're sticking by with tea. Actually, tea is 75% of the basic business. Within that, black tea is the main bedrock or the main benchmark. The problem is that by black tea, prices have not stabilized and black tea demand is not there. So it's like saying that all of us have started drinking green tea. We're not drinking black tea. And, uh, you know, it's like IT sector, where the old services are uh, getting redundant, the new services are coming. So that's happening with in the tea market. The black tea consumption is flat with a downward bias, a marginal upward bias. The other tea market is growing, but that other tea market is not very large. What I don't w like about Tata Global Beverages is that I'm not too happy about the capital allocation. Mm. Are you a water company? Are you a tea company? Are you in the business of selling coffee? Are you in the plantation business? You have a Starbucks joint venture. They have to get the act right. I mean, they are not focused. If they're able to get the focus back, I mean, it's a great brand. And they have the power of reach distribution. And imagine so many brands which Tata Tea has at global level and India level. I mean, you were showcasing me the amount of brands they have. Some of the brands are not retailed in India, but real fancy stuff. So it's a nice company because they have brands. But capital but allocation, strategy needs exactly. capital allocation right. is what I don't like about them. Okay, let's talk about one which seems to be getting it all right, Manampuram Finance. Uh, and